And it's like, no bro, you're not bin, you're not sooning bin, you're not getting that insane flank with the W and stuff. Uh, so you basically just want to go for the, like, you go for the ignite, you just, you just hard win the side lane, you force the enemy top lane, as soon as the enemy top lane TP somewhere, you know what you do? You just sit in the lane, you hard shift the wave, you get turret, you get, you get three stonks. Yep. I have, have to swap. Ult. You have global pressure with the ult. As a... Uh, can QT like know that their top laner needs to go top and their mid laner needs to go mid when we on the queue up? It yeah. might be. It might be so they don't have to proxy pick. It could be. But who are, who doesn't own all champs in this kind of competition? Let's be real though. You'd be surprised uh, with the amount of teams that I've seen that request pro draft because they don't own all champions. Nice trade, Sakura. Hmm. He's got enough time to get back to base and get oh, out on wait, the Oh, wait, he's though. farming karma. Wait, I didn't even see that. Monka, this is smart. I like this. I like this a lot. Now, the issue is, actually, no, it's not an issue. Uh, it's kind of an issue. Rail could just hard engage and stop the farm. But it's a ranged so, farming champion with fasting center. Range, it is range farming. It is range farming, but it's still like... Oh, it's still a bit scary, yeah, if the Rail finds the engage. But I enjoy this. I like this. It's a bit like different. The comet. I like the Comet. It gives you the nice poke. Mm. Something a bit different, I'll... something I don't think I've seen before. Wendelov just taking the auto attack there from Demon. Sure. I don't think I expected him to be there. But still, do you not have auto attack on? Like... <laughs> no, you... That's something you should always have turned off. I don't know. Maybe this is why I'm low elo. <laughs> but I mean, that was like the first thing I was told to do: turn auto attack off. Doesn't really. No, it's not really going to swing the top lane matchup too far, though. It's just a bit of a haha funny. Yeah. Again, I Kazix needs to get. If Kazix gets double skill here, it could be it could be very scary for Sedge. Um, mm. Yeah. We are going to see the invo bot lane get level 2 first, which is very important. Symbolion flash forward with that Ferramenti crash down. A track repel going on to secure it. Chunked very low with the ignite. Ticking away, but not going to quite fall. Potion's just about going to keep him up and alive alongside the summoner heal. So that is... Summoner's traded actually two summoners... Uh, extra summoner burned on the side of Huki with the flash coming out from Greed Life. Now, I can't tell if some players, like, still... Are, like, don't realize that when Rel... W's again to get to remount. She doesn't. She doesn't have her. She shouldn't have W. Mm. Like it has to. It goes back on cooldown for the in, engage. So every time I see a rel like remount and run at someone, obviously you get like the like it's sort of like a mini hecarim like uh, yeah. attack attack boost. I see people run away and I'm like, she's not. She can't engage. Yeah, just just let fight her. But Wake Trek looking for demon. Her stun gonna come through from the Renekton and demon's gonna eat his orange. Everything's gonna be K flashing away. Feromancy crash down again onto Lula with that attract repel stun. The Prey Seeker gonna hit, but Lula just about gonna get himself out with the flash. Equalizing that summoner disparity from the previous trade as well. Huki yeah. playing very aggressively in this bot lane. I mean, they know they can. They mm. should. Oh, 100%. 100%. It's, it's, it's the correct thing to do. You've blown everyone's flash now. Next engage is doomed. Sakura, you cannot walk up to this lane. You have to stand there. Yeah, exactly. You have to do exactly that. Because, okay, that was nice. I was going to say, a lot of centers will probably get baited there to walk forward and auto. Yeah, but that was a very, very nice uh, pissing yeah. darkness to find his way through. Because that's like the... Oh, the center, and like, the you, like you mentioned, Icy going to get the double scuttle again here. He does get the double scuttle. And Diamond's constantly pushing. There is... there. This is a much better looking early game so far. This guy has no flash. Just go in on him. I guess you... I guess... I guess Wonderlove is waiting for all, but like... I don't know. I swear. I, am I missing something? I swear. I mean, like, Wendelov's 50% HP. Diamond's full health. Diamond doesn't have mana, he has, though. He... Oh, now Wendelov decides to go as soon as Director Camera takes us up there, but it's not really going to get too much out uh... of it. It's just going to take a bullet to the back of the head. Okay, I'm a bit of a Renekton player. I enjoy Chinese Croc, and this is not Chinese Croc. It's it's annoying me. This is I... this is Nordic Croc. Like, if you want to play Renekton against GP, you as soon as you hit level 3, Go all in. Mm. Just out. You out trade him. You out trade literally everything in the game in levels, unless it's a tank. Yeah. Because 
if you have ma max um max rage get the w just flash w him and then e auto or like you w you auto you e and then you e back through him so and you then e your conqueror is e fully stacked right and then you have and you conquer fully stacked you might Ooh, not have conquer, we might, you might not have see work trek finding a gank here crash down gonna miss actually very nice mantra shield from secure for the speed up and they can't auto but the attract from repel gonna find the stun greed life gonna find first blood on the kaiser nice way to move around the center stun but nearly successfully avoided there by invul that was unfortunate the lane was a too bad spot mm. it's one of those situations where if you're top it's like i'm gonna trade my entire health bar to like push this wave in yeah in bot lane when you're in that situation you're against a rail and a set it's like oh, i'm just gonna just get me out. I see the one the Kha'Zix looking to sneak away this dragon in it's... response. Yeah, I think they know Kais is going to reset. Yeah. As also, Seraphine's going for damage Seraphine, so this could... Interesting. Which I understand, because you need AP. Yeah, you need magic damage. Yeah, they give the Mountain Soul... Ma 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 Mountain Soul after one dragon. Wow. Monka S, bro. Oh, <laughs> Monka S. But Diamond no. Is, Diamond is winning this top lane. Diamond is having a field day into Wendelov here. I guess GP beats people that don't play Renekton properly. I I I, 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 <laughs> I don't I don't want to play him because I don't fully know the nuance of that matchup. But I just know in my low elo game when I play Renekton into GP, I win. Yeah, well. <laughs> but I also think that's me being a literal. Like, but also, psychopath. but also, how much of that is the people you're playing against not knowing how to play GP? Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, it, it's Demon just, I... just constantly winning these trades. We see the Dominus pop though from Wendelov, and the Cannon Barrage is going to come down as well. Yeah. Wendelov wants this. Cute. Demon's just yeah, Demon's cooked, and turns out when you both have your level sixes, the Crocodile is the stronger predator in that lane. It's because how much sustained damage does GP actually do? Uh, none. Exactly, exactly zero. Exactly zero. How much sustained damage does, does Renekton Too do? Much. How, how Too much. Too much. How, how much burst damage does Renekton do? A Too lot. much. <laughs> I think Wendell Love realized, oh, wait a minute, I have six now? He can't, like, out-damage me. Well, he just realizes, wait a minute, I'm playing Renekton. I'm an early game champion. He's playing Gangplank. He's not an early game champion. What time is it? Yeah. Oh, it's seven minutes. We're still in the early game. Exactly, he realized for a moment, oh wait, I can actually do something here. He's mm. high inside whip, so he's actually going to go for the Stride Breaker first. Not opposed to it, obviously. And it looks nope. like we're going to see Essence Reaver first from Demon in the top lane. Oh, Sakura might be in trouble. Is the crash down going to connect with that Attract and Repel? The amount of CC that Rel can put out just from a simple engage is actually just incredible. Decent, yeah. decent trade back though from the Invo bot lane. Wicktrek looking to potentially set up a dive here though, on the okay. Sichuani. We can all see. Oh, 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 nice dodge on the gla on the gla uh, glacial prison, but Lula still gonna fall to the Rel Symbolian. Not even gonna take tower aggro, so she's gonna Wait, be able to walk out. Tanking, Greed Life had the tower aggro, gonna Ooh. dash forward with that void rush, finding the double kill with the ignite. I believe Greed Life gonna fall to the tower. Sakura picks up one in trade. Well. Ah. Well then. It's unfortunate both the kills there for Huki went on to Symbolian. Yeah, unfortunate for them. I, I was going to say, we see a Dirk in Kaiser, so Ka uh, in Kaiser's Kyle, entry. Yep. Now, if that doesn't turn into a Serpent Sang and he goes for Collector, I want someone to genuinely just message him and be like, you're trolling. Okay. As dive. Top Invo lane. diving the Renekton. This is... Teleport going to come through from the Seraphine. Wendelov taking the aggro. Shockwave yeah. goes wide. Can they find the kill? No. Turn around, Unison J finding the kill on the Renekton, but Renekton finding the double kill first. Ufi Duck likely to collect the third kill as well. Never mind, the command dissonance going to carry him to safety with the flash. Flash not going to be burned by Ufi Duck, though. Going to save that cooldown. Yeah, so basically, look at if you actually look, they took Herald and then looked to dive top. <laughs> now, the issue is Icy's going too early. Mm. Icy needs to wait. I see he's spotted on the ward. That's the issue. He's If he just sits on the ward... And you either bait out the TP super early and you can walk away. Or you force the Renekton to walk away from the turret. Or you force the Renekton to walk away and you can still just drop Harold. Yeah. Like, it, it, if there's a little bit of patience, and Yusung J was literally behind it, because he went so early, and allowed Renekton to get the W off with full rage, gets the ult, and Yusung J has, it just whiffs his ult, because Renekton can do Renekton. Yeah. Like, dash away quickly. 
Lulo and, and Sakura in a lot of trouble potentially here. Wiktrek being very, very patient. If they step up any further, Lulu likely going to go to flash away though. Going to keep him to safety. Glacial Prison connects. Wiktrek Cannon Barrage comes down as well now to dissuade any further attempts. Wiktrek and Symbolian taking a lot of damage. Lulu and Sakura might potentially be able to turn something, but no, not really. There's just too much health on that rail, on that Sejuani tether onto Symbolian, and then the Magic Storm is going to come through. Dawning Shadow goes out, but it's just not enough damage, not coming out quick enough. Sakura falling to Greed Life. Lula looking to try and potentially go for something, though. Low health bars on the side of Yuki, and Yun Sun Jay is here. Can he find anything? Shockwave, very close to coming back up. Symbolian chunked out massively. Wiktrek flashing away as well, so he's not going to find any kills. Wendelov teleport, though. Yu Sanjay is caught between a croc and a hard place. Shockwave catches too. Not going to quite find a Wiktrek. And he's going to just about fall in the middle of four. If I'm Sanjay, I take that. You get a lot of summoners. You get a teleport out of Wendelov. Demon's going to get quite a few plates. Icy got two plates in the mid lane. Demon going to get two plates of his own. Oh, Icy diving onto Uvi Duck. A lot of burst damage going out onto the Seraphine. Can he find the kill? Not looking likely. Void Assault forward doesn't have the damage. Chizuke? That's Chizuke? a little bit unfortunate. Chizuke? What then? Are we playing for fun games tonight? I, yeah, yeah, I don't know what that was. Other than just a little bit unfortunate. Seraphine think... surviving on a sliver. Don't want to be toxic, but I think the UNL Invo team could probably beat this UNL Invo <laughs> team. <laughs> After I, after after SS French's masterclass of the mid lane and uh, the boy Yuri on the tones top lane, holy! I, I mean, I don't, I don't fully know what's happening. Like, no, I'm, I'm it, trying to piece a few things together myself. It feels like there's a lot of like, oh, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. And it's like, yo, bro, just wait a minute, now, nah, bro. I'm going. And it's yeah. Like, okay, bro. You do you. Sakura getting engaged on dodging away from the crash down with a Magnus Storm gonna catch him, flash away from the Karma, and they could look to return a little bit of damage over here. Symbolian getting a bit poked, but it is Rel. That champion is so tanky. Ufi Duck appearing in the bot lane. Icy gonna answer though. Sakura caught out. The cannon barrage catching across three though. Symbolian quite chunked. But not really anything that Lula and Icy are gonna be able to do. Jumping over the walls, getting away from the Sejuani. They you would imagine they have to give this bot lane tower away now. Oh, yeah, no, it's, looking... it's going to be a dragon instead focused for Hyuki. It's looking like game one and Sakura keeps dying. <laughs> you can't keep dying, my friend. You've got to play just safe. Mm. Like he keeps walking forward and Relish just like, cheers, buddy. Yeah, thank you for the thank you for the easy knock up. Thank you for the easy stun. Well, like he gets out of the W and it's like, okay, cool. And he gets out of the E, but then Relish is like, I press R. Yeah. And then like, Sakura has to flash. And Demon's like having to all bot lane every time and it's like... Like it's not working. Like he's doing damage but it's just not working. Now, okay, he's got the Essence Reaper now he has to go Serpent Stein. You would imagine so, yeah. Moonstone, Moonstone Renewer picked up now for Sakura as well. I mean, that's gonna help, but it, it's not gonna help if he dies. No. I feel like Icy hasn't backed in a while, but he's died twice, so... Like, I think he's been sat on those items for a little bit now. He still is out farming the Surge. Who has five assists, so... Who, who's winning that one? Well, Greed Life jumping forward now on to Secure Court by the crash down the Pheromancy. Lula just gets deleted as an afterthought. Meanwhile, Invo trying to make a play on the top side. I like going for the cross map attempt, but can they take down Wendelov? It's not looking good for Icy and Demon. Getting chunked very low by the Dominus Empowered Renekton. And Icy jumping back in oh. does find the one for one. Did Renekton have Triumph? I believe so. That was not I don't think Triumph like healed him straight away. But they did lucky. they did find the second kill onto Sakura in the bot lane, finding the bot lane turret as well. Kyuki Hijackers really being able to push their lead here. We're going to do a quick check-in on Lula's soul count. He is currently on 48. 48 souls for 15 minutes is not a bad total, to be fair. It's not a bad total, but when you're behind, it's a bad total. 
<laughs> it's just bad. Yeah. Everything's everything. I mean, yeah, when bad. when you're behind, everything is just bad. But we see the Dusk Blade come out for icy on the Karzix. Wake Trek diving forward onto Yun Sanjay. Flash away. Cannon Barrage gonna thin out this wave. And just dissuade the tower take from actually going through. Now look at the negative damage that just happened there from the yeah. DPO. But that's the kind of thing that Invol need to be doing. They need to be stalling out a little bit little bit here. They want to get this Gangplank to two, three items. They want to get this Senna to crack and slay her, get her some souls. They want to get the Orianna to her mythic. And it's all about just making sure they can delay enough to make that possible. So also making this karma, fasting karma, or fasting Senna pick worth it, and right now it doesn't feel worth it, like with the karma. Mm. Like this bot lane got hard destroyed by Rel. Like just yeah. one champion, one that lane. Like, no, no hate on Greed Life, but like... But you could have had any AD carry paired with that yeah. Rel, and you would still be winning that lane most likely. Kraken Slayer are going to come through though for Lula. the chem tank for wick track i don't know if that's the primary mythic that you would go for on sejuani but i think it doesn't matter right now mm -hmm. like sunfire is okay but i think chem tank actually do better because of like oriana speed up karma speed up kha'zix run away like it's just to try matching a kha'zix kha'zix pressure yeah and all greed life diving straight onto diamond catching the void seeker the Dawning Shadow gonna cross, but Greed Life should just find the solo kill. Pot has to pop the summoner heal though. I think that's still worth it. I would, uh, I would agree. But it at least forces out a cooldown, which for uh, involved. Are you in the very accepted? No. Ah. Uh. Demon. No, I need change. Changed it. To no. I get it, you want your mythic now, but like, just go, just go Serpentine. Hmm. Oh, Wiktrek might be a little bit caught, but is it Sakura who's actually caught? That's a lot of damage coming out of that Sejuani. Piercing Darkness gonna go across and trying to heal up Sakura. Icy jumping over now onto the Sejuani. Actually able to do quite a lot of work, nearly finding the kill onto Wiktrek. Cannon Barrage gonna pick that one up, so Demon gets himself on the board. Bit of an unfortunate way to have to use the Cannon Barrage, though. Uh, I think it's worth it, he gets a kill. <laughs> At this point, take anything. Mm. It's a 5k. It is also 20 seconds before Ocean Dragon spawn. Uh, which... So she's going to be up for this, but, and she has chem tank. She can just run. She's not going to be there on the spawn of it, though, although I think uh, Huki do yeah, have the priority of the area. Oh my god, Symbolion. This could be. Oh, Symbolion. The Encore is going to come through. Only ca uh, catches onto two, sorry. Sakura able to flash himself away. The ball is positioned nicely. Magnastorm going to come down. Shockwave catches two. And Symbolion is instantly removed from the fight. Wendelov falling to Lula as well. Very, very nice taking fight. But Sakura <laughs> walks into the Prey Seeker. Getting one over to the side of Huki. But two for one support. Uh, both supports traded. And the top lane are secured away from Invo as well. Rift Herald is summoned in the mid lane. Wick Trek. Popping out that... Oh wait, Icy has a two-level lead here in the jungle. He's just going to delete Ufi Duck. And this is an Invol Dragon, surely. Two levels higher, has the extra damage on Smite. And they are going to secure the Ocean Dragon. But the mid lane tower might fall with the Rift Herald push. And does. Well, I just want to say, the amount of times that tonight... Okay. Oh, Lula caught out by the Glacial Prison is just going to get destroyed by this Kai'Sa. Icy... Lucky to get himself away as well. Command Protect coming in just to aid a little bit further. Void Assault going to take him around behind Wiktrek and Greed Life. Not going to look for anything, though, as he is very, very chunked out on that Kha'Zix. What I was saying was, like, I apologize for my screen, but tonight I've seen too many people walk back into skill shots. <laughs> like, they sidestep like a Jin W and then they walk back into it. Like, he sidestep that Kaiser W and he just walked back into it. Definitely not ideal. Yeah... And, like, if Sakura stays alive and doesn't do that, that dragon fight is a lot easier. Obviously, mm -hmm. it was very easy. They just blew up someone. And yeah, they just out. they just destroyed Ufi Duck. He just he just yeah. didn't have a health bar. They, they blew him up, but still, it's like that next fight probably Lulu doesn't take his weird path anyway. Mm. But again, I think he took a greed path. I, I know I've spoken to you a lot about greed paths. Yeah. 
And yeah, like, we've we've definitely like had not, a lot of conversations about like, that. Like not expecting someone, uh, like expecting them not to be there. But you should always like they're ahead. They're they're gonna be there. They, yeah. They prop, they prop, they're gonna greet for this. And when you're behind, you can't. You're not allowed to greet for anything. Definitely. The only thing you should ever greet for if you're if you're behind is looking for a, a Baron or a Drake. Mm. You should never greet for minions if you're behind because you're gonna keep allowing the enemy team to snowball. If you're just giving like giving them free kills and stuff, just let them push the wave, push it back into them, and then push the wave, push it back into them. I mean, uh, and we mentioned obviously Huki are ahead. That's without debate. But that gold lead has stagnated a bit. It's hovered around four thousand for the last five or so minutes now. Uh, I actually had a lot of that. I was collector Kaiser. <sighs> not a fan. Collector on Kaiser is not good, especially when the Kaiser's this far ahead. Yep. Really? Yeah. So when you're ahead, you build defensive. Mm. When you're also ahead, you still don't build collector on Kaiser. Why? Why like, do you think it's such a bad decision now? Because Kaiser's damage profile in general is so quick and so like explosive that she doesn't need the collector. Mm. Like if someone's stunned, they are dead anyway. You don't need that. You don't. You don't need the extra five. Like what collector does? You yeah, the extra five percent. Like serpent's fang does exactly what collector's gonna do anyway. And it's just stronger against the Oh, I see caught out by Ufi Duck chunked out about 50%. Uncle's gonna miss Oh never mind. Catches on Sakura. We do see Greed Life diving forward. I see gonna just about get himself out, somehow surviving through that collector. But Sakura gonna fall Greed Life shaken out by Yun Sun Jay. The Oriana Shockwave gonna catch two with the Everfrost. Ufi Duck falling to Lula. This is actually looking like quite a nice fight for Invol. Wicktrek and Symboyan gonna get chased hey. down as Lula picks up his second and his third. Four for one in the top side. Invol okay. making some solid comeback plays. That was really unfortunate for Greed Life and well played by Lula. His W, like, he threw it out and... Uh, he might be and Baron Greed, even. And Greed Life just, like, flew in straight onto the center W. Mm. They have enough sustain to take this. Yeah, with Senna Oriana <laughs> and, GP and GP. the Kha'Zix healing. Got to teleport, make sure it's secure. Uh, Wendelov not even going to try and contest. It's going to be Baron for Immorables Esports. And this game starting to get interesting now. Gold is all but even. Two dragons to one in favor of Invol. Two turrets in to zero in the favor of Huki Hydrakers. And we are down to the meager amount of 300, 400 gold as the lead. I do like the Rage Blade build this time as yep. well. Uh, I think just... Doing a lot of damage quickly. Yep. It's, a, it's good against squishy champions. But coming back to what I was saying about Kaiser and Collector, Serpent. Oh, I see Serpent's back. I see from Kha'Zix. I Let's see. Go! They've they've been listening. They've obviously got the stream on. But what, they what know saying, they know that they need it. I guess. What, what, <laughs> I, what I was saying was Kaiser here, Edge of Night, Serpent's Fang. Edge yeah. of Night is still a bit of a weird item, but the fact that you're sitting on a Dirk and Edge of Night when you're ahead. Is like, really good. It, Symbolian might it, it be about to get chunked out by Icy and Demon. Does take a bit of a chunk, but nothing it's, too much. It stops one bit of CC, and he has Edge of Night there instead of Collector. He doesn't get hit by yeah, the, the center root. The center root doesn't stop. Like, yeah, he survives. It doesn't root him. It break. It breaks the shield instead. Yeah. And which which like, would be very very massive in how that fight played out. Exactly. What did Collector bring you there? Death. Yeah. It, you collected your own soul. <laughs> but Invol is probably going to give this Drake. Yeah, I mean, I think giving this dragon is fine. It's only the second Drake for Huki. You're able to get a lot of farm and a lot of XP into Sakura in that top side. Demon able to push out this bot wave, although he needs to move. He needs to get himself the hell out of there. Does have flash, does have the oranges. Yun Sun Jay, though, getting jumped on by Wendelov's flash is going to have to be burned by Demon. Shockwave burned by Yun Sun Jay, and that should just be the pair of them getting away. Meanwhile, Invo gonna secure a turret in the top side and actually the gold lead for themselves for the first time in this game and possibly oh, even this area. Stopping the backs. Seraphine, the only one enabled to have actually um, recalled so far. A little bit of an over aggress though from Yun Sun Jay and Demon. Gonna lead to both of them being caught out. Demon fighting in the Wait, back line. What? He's just not dying. Never mind, does fall. To the rel, but again, it's another kill going on to the rel. Yu Sun Jay poking away at Wendelov. Invo might get three turrets for this, and they are going to get the third turret in the top lane. One kill for three towers? I would 100% okay, so, agree that's worth. So overall, they gave away the Drake because Sakura was top the whole time. Yeah, okay. so they gave away Drake for tower. Fine yeah. trade. 
And then you gave away one kill for two towers as well. Completely, Completely fine trade. Fine well. trade. And the kill could have been avoided. Demon didn't have to walk forward. No. They were, like, trying, they were trying to see who was like still there. And I think Demon might have tunnel vision on to stopping greed life. Yeah. Because then they probably would have got in him. And if he gets greed life, that's even more worth. But yeah, it happens. Cool. And yeah, that was actually just a really nice play. Cross map plays. Uh, except they were like, oh, they're on Drake. Let's, let's go. Let's go. We have mm. Baron as well. They just super went for it. Uh, Phantom, Phantom Dancer now on Kaiser. Very, very good item. Very yeah. good item in the current meta. Um, very, I think I think it's a little bit slept on as an item, honestly, Phantom Dancer. I mean, I criticized it when it first, when people start, first started bidding on Kaiser because I thought Runans was just better in team fights. But from looking at it, like Kaiser's just burst ability and uh, PD gives a double, gives the E and Q of all when you complete it. And mm. usually people get a second about going Dirk, so you don't get the Q of all from Dirk. Um, yeah, it like the burst potential is kind of insane, and I think it would have like just getting it earlier might have been really good. Um, I hope that I see a zeal. I hope that's a rapid fire cannon. I really. I would imagine it would be a rapid fire cannon for Lula here. Yeah. Like just being able to like hit someone, just slow like hit someone real quick. Slow them and slow just them. chunk them. Yeah. It sets a really nice thing with a karma speeder. Now I do I do have. One small oh. criticism, and I know we've agreed that the um, Gwinzu's Rage Blade pickup for Lula here is fine in the context of this game in isolation. Overall, Gwinzu's is kind of bad on. Overall, it's lower DPS than going for Infinity Edge. Yeah, but I I think the DPS doesn't matter right now when you have a burst comp. Yeah, exactly. When you're looking when you're looking to blow one or two carries up, having DPS does not matter. And also the, like, the increased true damage over time. Yeah, exactly. Sedge, and a Renekton, because this Renekton is going to start being pretty bulky. I see a Dirk in Demon's, uh, uh, Demon's inventory. inventory. I want that to be a Serpent's Fang. That's a Serpent's Fang. Good. Seraphine is not going to do anything. I also see the is it, it's the Chem Tech Purifier. Yep, on Karma. Karma, which is such a good Grievous. I also right now. also we have the Sterex on the Renekton, which Serpent's Fang's really going to do a number against. And Kaiser just got an Evolver, which was, I believe, he finally involved the E. Yeah. He should have already had that, just the E Evolve. Now, Kaiser's going to be doing insane damage. If Kaiser blows up, game's over. Like, he went Collector. Why did you go Collector? What are you collecting? Kaiser, I guess. Like, G GPO isn't, like... Like, the only time Collector's good on GP is if, say, like, they're all squishy and your team does, like, insane amount of damage and you just collect the, old, the whole team. Like, it's better mm. on Karzix, because Karzix is confirming the kill. Yeah. Where GP is like, if you take Serpent's Fang, you break shields. You yeah. do extra shield damage. And, like, you, you apply it to literally everyone. Karzix can apply it to literally everyone with his... Um, with his ability, W, the Void Spikes. Yeah. His ability that shoots out everywhere. Yeah, the Void Spikes. The uh, yeah, like... this The obsession with, like, when Collector came out, everyone was like, Damn, this item's so broken. Well, back, back when it came out, back when it came out, not gonna lie, kind of was because it worked on minions as well. Yeah, like it was, it was very strong. But everyone's like, it's this typical autopilot. But uh, wait, why is Seraphim got Medjice? Huh? I keep going AP Seraphim, but like, bro. I mean, I he's like been Arden he's been blown up in these last two team fights. Just yeah. support your Kaiser. You put Arden Sensor, please. Like, I, I, I get the Ludens and the, the Banshees. Yeah. Completely fine. You need any damage. But then you should go Ludens. Uh, Ludens. Uh, Arden Sensor. Invo should or... look towards the Baron here. If Hyuki commit fully onto this Drake. They're not going to. Because they destroy that Drake. Because of Kaiser. Yeah. Also, if you have Arden there, you destroy that even quicker. But it's just mid, mid lane priority secured. And now Hyuki have to face check into a Kha'Zix. Into a Gragas. Into an Orianna. <laughs> well, in theory, I'm right. Lula gonna get stunned up, gonna get on, gonna get charmed up as well. That encore going so far. Wendelov in the backline, but Lula's just not gonna go down. And that that you can see the serpent's fang effect. Icy in the backline. Zonya's up, going gonna go fall. Dawning shadow coming across. Invo winning out a little bit on this fight, but you could see the Renekton. Nowhere near as much effectiveness on that Sterax gauge because he had the Serpent's Fang shielding reduction. He also couldn't heal because of Chemtech Purifier. Yeah, and Literally only anti-healing item. In and the game. his his job 
is to sit and tank up the backline, and he cannot do that with his shields being shredded and his healing being reduced. It's such a nicely played fight. A demon face checking into Wick Trek here could be in a little bit of trouble. Gonna get stunned up by the on hits, but not gonna fall down to Greedlove. Wick Trek now getting turned on. Gonna fall to Yoon Sun Jay. I want to say Kaiser had Serpent's Fang there. Bye bye, uh, Steric Shield. Yeah, uh, bye bye, Demon. Bye my bye Demon. Demon. Yeah. Hi, Serpent's Fang. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm SF Eris now. Yeah, Serpent's you're literally, Fang, you're literally SF like SF. LS, but for Serpent's Fang. It's literally the, it's, it's like one of the best anti shield items. It is, it is, it is a sleeper. It is uh, a bit of a sleeper OP item, I will agree. Two stacks on now. Oh, oh fire let's, uh, let's check. 122, let yeah, jeez. How much range is that? 900 with rapid fire cannon. Jeez. So, eight, so 800 base. Jeez. That's a lot of range. And we see an Oblivion Orb now being picked up for Yoon Sanjay. I don't like that with the Chemtech Purifier. Yeah, he doesn't need it. Uh, I think it's, I mean, it's fine. It's fine, I guess, but. I think he also applies Grievous Wounds really well in mm. general. So it's kind of like one of those things but where you, the thing, where the thing, But the thing is, Grievous Wounds doesn't stack. The thing with I, Grievous Wounds that I will add here, it will always apply the highest percentage. So if yeah. he is affected by Chemtech Purifier, he will always be applying 60%. If there is ever a period in a team fight where he is not, he will continue to apply the 40 from just the Oblivion Orb. So it's not terrible. It's not, it's not, I'm not trying to say, oh, he's inting. He's bought Grievous Wounds when his team already has it. Because that's not the case. <laughs> nice <laughs> dodge from Yoon Sanjay. Cannon Barrage dissuading any further engage. Icy's not in the area, so Invo don't want to look for this fight. Sakura's looking for it. <laughs> well, they've been looking for fights all game, but no, it's it's not completely in, and I kind of understand it. But yeah. it's good that the way that it is oh. coded will mean that if Yoon Sun Jae can be applying the 60% from pure Purifier, he will be. Now, obviously, this isn't correct, Mask, but you know it would be nice if, uh, if Grievous Wound stacked. What, so, so you had the 60% you... go on from the Purifier, and then that got a further 40% from Oblivion Orb. I, I believe that's... how much how much percentage is that? Cause I, well, I it would... Cause I, cause it would be... it would reduce it to about, like, I'm gonna say 26%. Oh my god, we've just sold healing. What, make it stack? <laughs> Oh, my stack is like maybe stack 50%. Well, no, but make it, make it, make it like additive. So you, if no, you, if you're affected by 60%, and then you get affected by another 40%, you take. Yeah, like no, not 100%. But yeah, make it additive, not multiplicative. Yeah, yeah that's that's what I was thinking. Oh, <laughs> massive engage though from Huki Hijack is catching on three and blowing everyone up straight away. Shockwave catches three, but it's not gonna matter. Everyone on Invo just instantly getting taken out of the fight. Greed life flashing forward onto Ice. He's gonna find that one and pick that kill up. Ping's going onto Baron, but I don't think I don't think Yuki Hijack is needed. I think that might just be the game right there. That was Flash Rel followed by Seraphine Wombo combo and Sejuani. Game. Yeah, that's a terrifying engage. No minions you, currently. Yun Sun Jay. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna proxy farm the wave away, and that's gonna keep Invo in the game here. I think they can. Can they take this tower? Yeah, they can. They can really brute force it because of the shields. Yeah. But they get the inhibitor, they're not going to get anything further. Cause, because Yoon Sun Jay is going to proxy farm away at that. And they're going to reset. Minion wave. Drake's going to spawn. Demon's going to TP to this. Just watch. Yeah. This is going to be the final fight. I would imagine this is the final fight of the game. If they, if they stayed, they might be able to catch Lula and Sakura there. Yeah, but I don't think they want because they're like, crap Drake, crap Drake. Yeah, well. Wait, I hit GP ult. What's GP ulting? GP just ulted somewhere. Um, I'm assuming there's a misclick. I heard it. Yeah, it's on cooldown. It's on cooldown, so it has just been used. Ooh, was he all in Baron? I possibly, in case they went straight for it. I didn't see, but it is definitely on cooldown. It's a only a quarter of the cooldown gone now, I didn't so see, I didn't won't see. be up for this team fight. Invol have to contest this. This could be a second successive Ocean Soul. For Huki Demon gonna get jumped on by Greed Life and Wick Trek. He is gonna likely go down and does to the collector. Can Icy find the Dragon Steel here and not gonna manage it? Oofy Duck picking that one up, and that's two for zero so far on the fight. Encore only gonna catch on to Secura, but Lula is gonna be soon to follow. No, gonna get left alive. Yun Sun Jay teleporting back to base. Wick Trek chasing down the center. Gonna probably find it with one more swing of his flail. No, Lula surviving for. 
quite a while here, getting himself away, but his use on Jay versus the world back Rel's in the coming. base. Rel's coming. Rel is coming, and they are hunting for some Senna. Gonna be able to heal up quite nicely, though, but no. The Ferromancy crash down, finds Lula. Yun Sanjay rooted up, stunned up, taken down by the Collector. And it was a good fight back from Invo. They showed some very promising signs into that mid game. But that is gonna be the Nexus falling. That's gonna be Huki Hijackers taking the 2 0. One step closer to playoffs for the Hijackers. Yeah.